Minecraft's textures are iconic. They're instantly recognizable. Uh, a lot of people like the way they look. There are also some people who use texture packs to change the way Minecraft looks. Some of these texture packs can make Minecraft look more cartoonish, more detailed. And in some cases, there are photorealistic texture packs. Well, as photorealistic as Minecraft can get. I've been messing around making my own texture pack recently, and I've been playing with AI upscaling. So then I wondered what would happen if I put Minecraft's textures, all of them, through an AI upscaler. I could have used some complicated software where I trained an AI model by uploading pictures of real life terrain, photorealistic terrain, and then that would match to the textures in Minecraft. But instead I used a software called Topaz Gigapixel AI. It's pretty much drag and drop. There are very few options and it does everything for you. I did the textures in four times the size. I tested the Minecraft stone brick texture first because that's a prominent texture in my Minecraft house on a multiplayer server that I'm playing on. So I applied it to the Minecraft texture pack that I'm using for this. Ran it through the AI, reloaded the textures, quickly realized I'm going to have a naming issue because everything is going to end in one. So I thought I'll figure that out later. I'll just rename the one texture manually just to see how it looks first. And when I loaded into Minecraft, it looked it looked interesting. It looked like a lot of the AI upscaled images that I had seen, but I was still curious to see what the whole texture pack would look like changed. So I thought I'd do a bit more testing with more textures. I did some quick research on a mass file renamer to get rid of the one at the end of all the textures. I found a few ways to do it. One of the ways was to use a command file or a bat file, but then I would have to change the directory for each one of Minecraft's textures. And I know some of them are in folders for each texture. So I decided to just drag all nearly 700 textures into AI Upscaler and then I'll figure it all out later. So I gathered all the PNG files of the same type, dragged it into AI Upscaler, wasn't quite sure how we would handle it, handled it really well. They're only small images so I thought it would be okay. Made sure they were all on four times and started batch processing. I made sure they were all the same file name, made sure they saved to the source folder of where they came from. And then I just sat back and waited for them all to complete. About 100 or so images in, I wanted to see how my PC was handling this, so I opened up Task Manager and my GPU software. Uh, Windows or the software didn't actually like that because then it all just crashed. So I thought, I'll close Minecraft, I won't be checking the temperatures. The GPU was maxed out, it wasn't really using much else. So I decided to put all the textures back in, but this time I decided to create a to-do folder where I put all the original textures. Then I would export the upscale textures into the original folder they were meant to be in. So then I didn't have to rename anything. So that solved that problem for this part. It didn't take Topaz AI long to go through all these images. They're only Minecraft block images, 16 by 16. Most of them are only going to 64 by 64, depending on the actual block. And once they're all done, I went into Explorer. I just wanted a little preview of how everything looked. I realized it was only the, just the blocks that I'd done. So not everything would be completely different. I just wanted to see how my base looked with these new AI upscaled images. So I logged into the server and here's what I saw. not all that indifferent to some texture packs that i have seen obviously there is a an ai upscaled look to them i would ex i expected more to look like those google uh, upscaled images more like eldritch horror like where they've taken images from everywhere else but like i said i didn't train this model i uh, just put them through the upscaler want to have a look how everything looked in the day pretty much the same you can see none of the cows or items are done none of the entities but it still does look very interesting. It sort of like blurred together. This child look around the outside. Cows and sheep look a little bit more normal. That will change in the in later in the episode. But for now, nothing really looks too different, especially from a distance. The, the grass was already quite like pixelated anyway. So I'd look down my mine. Stone looks weird. Stone looks like it's like an acid trip. It's, uh, it's real strange. I wanted to have a look how deeper in the the caves looked i wanted to see what bedrock looked like and we'll see how i handled dark textures you'll be able to see with some of the mobs later on that it doesn't really upscale darker images all that well it tends to just merge everything together and i've got shaders on as well so things do look a little bit different the next textures i decided to upgrade were all the entity textures but they're in a separate folder for each one of the png images so I couldn't just drag them in and drag them into their own folder. It would have just taken forever. There are nearly 400 of them. So I found out I actually do have a software on my computer called Power Rename, which, were, uh, which I was using for a previous project. So what I did was grab all the PNG images within the entity folder, 
decided to drag them into GigPixel AI, then I would just delete all the original images because I kept them selected throughout the process. And then I would just take away the one on the new images. After the entities without even checking, I just went straight in and just did all the GUI textures. I wasn't even sure if all of them could be done. So I left out the Minecraft logo, the, Mo uh, the Mojang logo and the default server icon. I waited for all of these to be done and then I went to Minecraft to check how the textures look. I was pretty excited to see how the animals would turn out. I just wanted to know if their faces would look good or if they'd actually look more realistic. So once all these were done, I decided to go back into Minecraft and have a look. When I got into the world, this was exactly what I wanted to see. Some of the Eldritch horror that I'd seen from AI upscaling, these sheep look horrible. You can't even make out any facial features. It's, it's kind of just distorted everything. Their wool looks fine, but their faces, it just hasn't worked. I don't know if the texture resolution is too low. I will try and upscale them later on in the episode to further again. The cows, their eyes have stretched around their head. They definitely don't look right. Their pattern on their back, yeah, it looks a bit weird, but nothing compared to their faces. And pigs, just the same. They all look like they're sort of melting. They've been in a horrible accident. It, none of it is right and these pigs don't even know how to handle it i noticed some weird chunk loading issues with this texture pack changed the shader but it was definitely the texture pack uh this is why i haven't put it for download you can do this if you want but minecraft just it really really didn't handle it all that well now that i'd done the the gui the blocks the entities i wanted to do the items this was the one that i was most excited about really i wanted to see how all the swords and the, the food looked um so i went in changed all those i did it wrong first of all they were all in the same folder i could have just put all the original textures in the to-do folder and then just exported all the rest on the outside and that's what i did when i ended up doing it the, the second time once i realized my mistake so i put them through you can see a little preview here when i actually jump into the world now i'll show you some more of the items and more of the mobs so i loaded in i instantly noticed the mutton looks really good this is one of the the ai upscalings with a little bit of tweaking it could look actually like usable uh, there's still a little bit of AI artifact in, but then I decided to show some more of the, the weapons. I just showed the diamond. They all look the exact same otherwise. Uh, again, these these sheep are just awful. Uh, so I picked some of my favorite mobs that I wanted to see. There's no way I could show you every block, every mob, every entity, every item in this episode. You can download the software for yourself, change the ones that you want. The bees look okay. Um, again, there's just like some weird like fringing around the dark parts, the contrast of the light parts. With my shaders on, uh, you just could not see these blazes whatsoever. So I turned the shaders off for the rest of the mob preview. It runs much better anyway, especially with these uh, upscale textures. The blazes, you can't see like a face at all. Kind of looks like they have blonde hair in front of their eyes. Chickens, just some green stuff on their face. Creepers, they look scary. Uh, dolphins, I don't know. I didn't really know what they looked like beforehand anyway. I haven't played Minecraft in a while. Donkeys, apart from like the facial features unchanged, the guardians like I couldn't really see, but again, they they look a lot better. They look like they're cracked on the top. Um, none of them would really show me their face, apart from this guy. The Enderman, they look they look a lot scarier with like the purple glitch effect in their eyes. Definitely more terrifying. Ghasts, especially from a distance, you just wouldn't even notice. Llamas. They worked okay. Their faces are fine. Both slime types were unchanged, really. The magma slimes, regular slimes. Pandas, again, just a bit more noise. And skeletons, they kind of look happy. Uh, that slime, completely unchanged, almost. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't even notice. Anything with these glowing eyes, the spiders, the endermen. Definitely, definitely way scarier. I couldn't imagine seeing that in the night. The villagers picked up some sort of artifact on their head. Now they look angry with their unibrow and no pupils. And the wither skeleton, this is what I was talking about earlier with the black fading. Just no, no features at all, really. They just got some stripy head, way more so than before. And almost unrecognizable. Definitely didn't look good. After a few failed attempts, I finally got the wither working. I had to Google it. I thought it was skeleton heads, then I thought it was pumpkins. I guess I was close. I just had to put some wither heads on it. I just wanted to see how he looked because I knew he had like, a, like an aura around him. Um, so when I finally got it working, you can see... He's definitely weird. His face looks worse. Kind of flashes into like the, the black mode. And then does what the weather does. I do try and see the ender dragon during this. But we'll see why that doesn't work in just a minute. Um, but I did want to go and see the nether. So 
I noticed the obsidian looks really cool. It kind of looks more like uh, like an end texture, just because everything's blurred together. And the portal effect, that I think that worked out well too. The the end, I didn't even realize Netherrack was changed until like two days ago. Uh, so it just looks completely different to me anyway. And you can see I, I have chunk loading issues again here. This is just a texture pack issue. I do try closing stuff, but none of that works. It's definitely a texture pack issue. I've got more than enough RAM and GPU and CPU power. I just wouldn't recommend upgrading your textures this way. Um, I just did this because I want to see how it worked. Same with going to find the Ender Dragon. There was just no way I could have done it uh, through like the methods that I did. Uh, I'm sure I could have just spawned him in somehow, but I didn't. You can go and do that if you want. The software is free for like a week. You can try that for yourself. Send me a screenshot or something. I next wanted to see what would happen if I upscaled the upscaled textures. So I put them back in at four times again. So it was four times four. Then I wasn't sure how Minecraft would handle it. I've already been having uh, texture issues and crashing issues. So I decided against that. I loaded them all in just for fun. Put them in a 10. It was like 3000 textures. It took a long time. I ended up just scrapping it. Got rid of the texture. Restarted it again. So I got the base texture pack. Then I put every PNG texture in Minecraft all in. So there was about 2,000 textures in total, just a little bit more. I put those at four times each again, just because I'm not quite sure if Minecraft supports more than that. I've only ever seen like 5, 12 textures, and we're reaching those limits, especially with some of the textures. But as you can see, the, the fonts have, because they're all PNG files, they're all just like totally out of line now. It's, it's upscaled and beyond recognition for the most part. Uh, but when I loaded in, because I've changed the Minecraft top texture, it gives everything this sort of like volcanic ashy look um and you can see when i turn around now the sun the clouds <laughs> none of them look good the clouds look more natural in some ways just because they do kind of like feather off on the edges um but the, the grass is the noticeable difference everything's gone gray just because i've tried to upscale like the the grayscale texture um the cows for some reason they're just a bit more blurry than anything the same with all the other mobs uh, i don't know why they're still in it four times I realized I didn't show you the underwater. Kind of looks cool. Definitely looks more realistic. Looks, uh, looks more like a, an early 2000s game compared to Minecraft. Sheep. Just a more blurry face. Definitely recognizable. None of that the horror that we saw before. Pigs. Just blurry with one reddish eye. Um, but if you want to try this, the, the software is below in the description. is kind of fun. You can upscale any image. Maybe you could try with different games. If you find anything that I didn't show in this video, you can tweet me. Send me a message on on anything that I've got available in the description. Thanks for watching.